systems. Computers are a facet of everyday life, and so is the Internet, offering information and entertainment. But there are also some hidden dangers out there. Online predators target children and teens on social networking sites, but the number one place for sexual solicitations, Internet chat rooms. Predators are lying about their, um, their age, their sex, their identity. Fact, one in five children has already received a sexual solicitation online. Fact, one in four teenagers has already received unwanted exposure to pornography. Fact, 80% of kids have already been threatened or harassed online. And the scariest fact? 14% of teenagers have already had a meeting with someone who they've only met through the internet. It can be very dangerous, resulting in death. Um, we have had cases where children have given enough information or have agreed to meet someone that they perceive as their friend at the corner. Uh, when the perpetrator comes to pick them up, they then take them to their homes where we've had kids that were shackled, held prisoner, raped, um, beaten, and, and killed. According to Michelle Ratcliffe, assistant U.S. attorney for the Eastern District of Texas, the internet offers predators a sense of protection. People have this perceived anonymity that no one can tell what they're doing behind their closed doors of their bedrooms or their dens where they have computers. Um, and they can sit in the privacy of their own home and they can look at as much child pornography as they want for as long as they want. And they can try to talk to as many children as they can throughout the course of the day. Ratcliffe says predators easily lure children by talking about subjects many parents avoid. They'll talk about the drugs, the sex, um, the body piercings, um, tattoos, and things like that that parents don't want to talk about. They, they're, they're willing to talk to them about it. And anyone can be an online predator. We have prosecuted poor, wealthy, and middle class um, men. We have convicted men in their 20s to senior citizens. We have uh, put men in jail who were high school dropouts, college educated, people with PhDs in law enforcement, and people with uh, titles and of respect in our community. So how can you protect your children? You can't. Um, eliminate the problem by getting rid of the computer. The computer is part of every aspect of your child's life. Socially, academically, and professionally, they will need to use a computer for every aspect of their life. It's not going away, so you need to teach your child how to use the computer responsibly. Monitoring your child online is key. Sex is the number one search term on the internet, and um, I tell parents that you wouldn't put a Playboy magazine in their bookshelf. And that's basically what you're doing when you give them unrestricted access to the Internet because pornography has infiltrated every aspect of the Internet. Never put a computer inside your child's room. Instead, place it in a highly trafficked area. Parents are using the Internet as almost like a babysitter. And they'll, their kids are upstairs, they're quiet, they're not bothering them, so they can make dinner, do the laundry, and do the things, the busy things that parents all have to do. Um, that just is not going to cut it anymore. Empowering children is also key. Kids need to know that there is a zone of privacy that they can expect to have, that there are issues that are not discussed with anyone except their parents or, you know, or a guardian. And so we have to empower our children so that they don't become victims. Don't just drop them off with the sitter or the coach and say, do what the sitter says or do what your coach says. It, it sends kind of the wrong message. Um, and so I do tell parents, you know, any child can become a victim. For more information, all you have to do is log on to K10.com. There you'll find a link to more information on the government initiative to stop child predators called Project Safe Child.